Now I'm gonna place the largest trade I've ever done on this channel. So this is gonna be 100 shares or a $75,000 short position on Chipotle Mexican Grill, ticker CMG. I had to bust out a third account just to place the trade just because I didn't have the funds available in my other accounts. probably gonna be my largest on-camera profit or loss and uh, right now the hardest part is uh, just uh, waiting uh, for earnings tomorrow kind of nervous about this one honestly because if they somehow beat earnings this could easily be $830 within a few days I want to hedge out some of my losses here in case I am wrong I am going to actually uh, sell one put option on this so it's later on in the night and I'm actually starting to have second thoughts about my CMG trade. Late in the day, the position was actually up $700 and uh, I can make $700 without any form of gambling whatsoever. But uh, at the same time, making $700, that's not gonna get you rich and that's not gonna actually end up building a bankroll. We'll wait until tomorrow, I'll play it out and uh, I'll make a judgment depending on trading. If I'm up quite a bit, let's say in the $1,600, $1,800 range, I might decide to pull the plug on the CMG trade. But um, other than that, I'm actually gonna hold on to the trade and uh, let's gamble. As it's the middle of the day, I'm in my trading room, quick check-in. I closed both of the positions that I had on from yesterday. My Chipotle position is in the money, about $1,000, and I don't really have to gamble on earnings. Let's go ahead and lock this up first. That netted me a $1,000 profit, and I replaced that with a uh, put option. All right guys, so it's 3.45. I have one put position and I just don't feel like that's enough right now. I just don't feel like it's enough. I'm gonna take another short position of 20 shares. And uh, at that point, all I can do is pray. I just want all of the money. Do you know what I said? I gotta get the dinner with the cash and the bread. Money. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm down to do the do just as long as it's paying. Money. Do you hear what I spoke? I wanna make some dough because I'm sick of being broke. Money. So I got a quesadilla from Cordoba and I got a burrito bowl from Mo's. I'm going to be enjoying this while watching earnings on a Chipotle Mexican Grill. To become the good earner, capital or bank will equal to Ted Turner's. And I got class from Mendo to Boston, Mass, and even past foreign tour and chasing cash. And there's a chance that you could catch a bad taste coming in last place when you're running in that rat race. Life is an all gravy boat, sometimes spent up the creek with no paddle trying to row. Some get every chance to stack those chips, but every time did not slip through the fingertips. All the people use cop pools and bus rides until the financials is way up on the plus side i say on the grind with my rhythms and rhymes keeping my eye at the prize trying to get my money I don't feel so good right now. You guys might think I'm stupid for uh, shorting this three times and failing all three times, but every time, oh my God, every time I feel the analysis for this is still spot on. Guys, 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 if there's one thing I want you to take away from watching my channel is don't bet against Chipotle, okay? If there's one thing you can learn from my channel, do not bet against Chipotle. Anytime you think about betting against Chipotle, come watch my channel, watch someone who loses money consistently betting against Chipotle. It'll make you, it'll make you feel better about yourself.
Good morning guys. So I actually have to head somewhere today and there's a big earnings going on later today. And I've been zero for two. My two biggest ones have now bricked. Coming up we have Tesla. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna position myself yet and uh, I probably have to do the trade through the phone. I do use mobile trading pretty frequently. I just haven't figured out how to like broadcast something like that. It's July 24th and I had placed uh, both a call option and a put option on Tesla earlier. It's after hours right now and Tesla's down about 10%. They had a bit of a miss. I couldn't read into the news too much. Probably will check it out later on when I get home. Um, but other than that, it looked like, um, you know, the stock went down quite a bit. You know, it's actually been rallying pretty hard since it hit its low of 188. I hope to be able to sell the put at uh, a win tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. So a pretty big move in Tesla. I'm, very, I'm pretty glad right now I did uh, the straddle position. Um, as always, I'll let you guys know at the end of the week my, uh, my win or loss on these, uh, these earnings season flips. You can kind of see my profit and loss from open is $1,600 on Tesla. So in my case, the call option is probably going to expire worthless. I have until next week to find out. But I've already tripled the value on my put option. Even if my call option expires worthless, my put option, I've made quite a bit of money on that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, that's it for me.